Hey, this is just a really short video to fire up those glutes. So come and join me, literally be about five, 10 minutes, and we're just gonna do some really lovely glute exercises. Really important for stabilizing those hips. And really important in um, our yoga practice to help prevent injury. So let's come on the hands and knees, and let's get started. So spreading the fingers really nice and wide. We're gonna have the shoulders in line with the wrists, the hips in line with the knees. So really think about pressing the ground away from you. Lovely. I want you to think about shining those elbow creases towards the front edge of the mat. Make sure those knees are about hip width apart. We're just going to start with some lovely cat cows to warm us up. So as we inhale, drop the belly down and open up through the heart. Gaze comes up towards the sky. As we exhale, rounding through the spine, bring the gaze towards the belly. Inhale, belly drops, heart open. And as we exhale, rounding through the spine, Lovely, a couple more times, really starting to work with that breath. I'm just finding this lovely ripple, this lovely wave up and down the spine. This is my favourite way to kind of just warm up the spine and ready for our practice. Lovely, one more time. And then as we exhale, come on. Right, from here, we're going to press the ground away, keep those elbow creases shining forward. I want you to be lovely and strong. So think about drawing the navel in towards the spine so we're engaging that core. So you're not creating this kind of dip in the lower back. You want that lovely flat back here. Lovely. From here, we're going to take a nice big inhale in. And we're going to extend the right leg all the way out that way. So just think about pressing out through that right heel, toes down towards the earth, engaging that right thigh, drawing the belly in. Lovely. One more really nice deep breath. And then as we exhale, we're going to draw that knee in towards the nose. So round through the spine, knee towards the nose. As we inhale, let's extend the leg all the way out behind, press out through that heel. Try and keep that leg in line with that hip. And then as we exhale, knee towards the nose, round through the spine. Inhale, extend the leg all the way out behind. And then as we exhale, knee towards the nose, from round through that spine. Lovely. As we inhale, we're going to extend the leg all the way up behind. As we exhale, let's just bring the foot down, bring the knee back down to the air. Come back to all fours. Lovely. From here, we're going to extend the left leg behind. So opposite leg, reaching that left leg out behind us. Try and keep that leg in line with that hip as you press the heel away, toes pointing down. Really think about engaging that core, so drawing the navel in. And then as we exhale, we're slowly going to draw the knee towards the nose as we round up the spine. Inhale, extend the leg all the way out behind, pressing out through the heel. And then as we exhale, slowly drawing that knee in towards the nose. Lovely. As we inhale, extend the leg behind, pressing out and away. And then as we exhale, drawing that knee in towards the nose. Lift the knee a little bit higher. And then as we inhale, extend the leg away. We're just going to bring that foot down and we're going to bring that knee down as we come into all fours. Just taking a moment to come into our child's pose. Bottom comes towards the heels, forehead to the mat. Just take a little rest. So three really nice deep breaths, just allowing the heart to melt down. Let those shoulder blades just fall apart. Bottom drawing towards the heels. Really, really nice. When you're ready, we're going to inhale, lift the forehead. We're going to come all the way back onto the force. So again, just get that lovely positioning again. Spread the fingers lovely and wide. Index fingers facing forward. Shine those elbow creases forward. Knees in line with the hips. Great. From here again, we're going to extend the right leg all the way out behind. So just extending the right leg out behind, let's press away with that right heel, toes pointing down. Lovely, as we exhale again, we're going to draw that knee towards the nose, round through the spine. And as we inhale, we're going to extend the leg all the way out behind. Lovely. Again, knee towards the nose, round through the spine. And then extend the leg all the way out behind. Nice. This time we're going to draw that 
that knee out into kind of a half frog leg. So knee draws out in line with that hip. Think about flexing that foot, lifting that knee in line with the hips. Beautiful. Really nice. So it's good. So with one nice deep breath, as we extend the leg out towards the side, really lovely deep breath in. As we exhale, let's release the toes down. Nice. Slowly we're going to swing that foot all the way back round and we're going to draw that knee all the way back. We're going to do that on the other side. So when you're ready, extending the left leg all the way out. Let's press out of that back heel. Lovely, engaging that thigh, and then as we exhale, let's draw the knee in towards the nose. Nice, as we inhale, let's send the leg behind, pressing away. And then as we exhale, let's draw the knee in towards the nose. Lovely. One more time, extending the leg away. And this time, as we exhale, we're going to draw that knee out to about 90 degrees. So again, coming into this kind of half frog leg. Hold here, see if you can lift that knee a little higher. And then reaching the left leg all the way out to the side. So you can keep that leg in line with the hip. One more lovely deep breath. And then as you exhale, let's release the toes down. We're going to swing that left leg back round and bring that knee back and onto our mats. Taking a moment just to bring the knees lovely and wide. Big toes together. Forehead to the air. Take a couple of really nice deep breaths. So again, just allow the shoulder blades to fall apart. Let the heart melt down. Really lovely. You're going to release the forehead. Coming all the way back up onto our knees. So I just wanted to kind of do a really quick video that you can repeat over and over again to start to work those glute muscles. Um, it can be very challenging, but if you repeat this kind of like three or five times, you'll really start to feel them working. I hope you've enjoyed it. Sounds easy.